Well, folks, things are not looking good at all for the merger between digital world acquisition and the Trump media and technology company, which of course owns truth social on Thursday. It was revealed that three individuals with digital world acquisition had been indicted. They were arrested for insider trading. The very thing that the securities and exchange commission had suspected all along. Here's what happened for anybody that's not familiar with it. This is a story that has been ongoing for well over a year, but basically investigators at the sec were looking into whether or not there was any kind of collusion between digital world acquisition, the special uh, SPAC, you know, whatever that <laughs> those letters stand for, um, and Trump media and technology, which again owns truth social now under the rules for a SPAC. When you bring in investors, the investors have to come in and put their money in. And once all the money is in and everything's closed at that point, you determine what company you are going to target. You cannot under any circumstances legally have a target before you have all of the money. Now seems weird. Maybe, I guess, I don't know, not a big finance guy, but those are the rules. And so according to the arrest of these three individuals, they had been fed information suggesting that the target of the SPAC digital world acquisition was in fact, Trump media and technology, and they invested millions and made millions more. Let me read this from the associated press about what happened. According to the indictment pertaining to the media company, the men were invited to invest in the special purpose acquisition company SPAC. That's what it stands for digital world acquisition and were provided confidential information that a potential target of DWAC and, uh, another acquisition company, uh, Benissari capital acquisition Corp was Trump media and technology. Authorities said the defendants bought millions of dollars of DWAC securities on the open market before news of the Trump media business was made public. After the public announcement, the men dumped their securities for a significant profit, according to the court papers. So they were told information that should not have been revealed to the public. So they dump tons of money into digital world. As soon as it's announced, everybody starts buying, they start selling. They made, I think, according to this $22 million based on that insider information. So what happens to Trump media and technology? What happens to the potential merger with digital world that has to be completed by September or that opportunity goes away? Well, according to these indictments, no wrongdoing whatsoever is being accused on the part of Donald Trump or Trump media and technology. Okay. They are not accused of any of this wrongdoing as of right now, with regard to these three men that were arrested. However, the indictment said that between June, 2021 and November, 2021, the men purchased securities, including warrants of their own and shared the secrets with their friends and employees who also bought tens of thousands of units of securities ahead of the merger announcement with Trump media and technology group. Typically a special purpose acquisition company or SPAC is formed with the intent to merge with a private company before the private company becomes publicly traded. In early 2021, representatives of Trump media, including Trump began communicating with principals of Vanessa Ray about potentially merging to take Trump media public. The indictment said between March and June, 2021, the Trump media and Vanessa Ray entered into non-binding letters of intent to merge. One of the men was given a seat as one of the men that was arrested was given a seat on digital world acquisition Co uh, Corps board of directors and had access to confidential information. It said he then shared that information with, of course, his co-conspirators. So that's what's happening. And because he was a part of digital world, not just an outside investor, he was giving us given a seat on the board. When this happened, this may mean that the entire merger deal could be dead. Um, oh, and by the way, the, I, I had stated it wrong. Like the, the SPAC can communicate with the company, but they cannot reveal any of that information publicly to any potential investors, right? You got to have your investors. Then you start talking 
then it can be made public once it's, you know, finalized. Uh, but either way, this to me seems to spell doom for Trump media and technology. And of course, by extension, truth social. Uh, and that is because this is just the first of it. The investigation has not concluded. These are just the first three men to go down. And if they do not complete the deal by September, as I said, uh, which is the 12 month extension is supposed to be last September. If it doesn't get done by September, they will either have to vote to extend it again, or the merger is dead. Digital world acquisition disbands and the investors get their original money back. And Donald Trump loses potentially $300 million that he would have made off of the deal. And let's not forget that reports earlier this year already suggested that uh, truth social only had operating revenue through April. So they're basically running on fumes at this point, trying to stay afloat. There's other things that, uh, Trump's media and technology group is being investigated for still including other investments that they did not reveal to digital world. It is a financial mess, both of these companies, but these indictments are only going to be the first. And if you ask me, I think Trump's whole company is about to go down. Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, you can subscribe to the Fair and Balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like, comment, and share. But again, click that subscribe button and help Aspen. Oh, not be so grumpy.